Let's talk about activewear and let's talk about Cleo Harper. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that I have stepped up my wardrobe game. The things that I look for most in activewear are comfort, that's always number one, but also I want it to look decent and I want it to last a long time. So I found Cleo Harper, I saw them all over Instagram and finally decided to pull the trigger and try it out for myself. It started out with just a few pieces and then it turned into some more. Alex, sorry when you see this video because you probably had no idea I had this little mini collection. Oops. We're gonna talk about what I think of Cleo Harper. Obviously, it's a positive, so if you don't wanna stick around to the end, I recommend them. I wanna dive a little deeper and talk about which ones I find are more supportive, less supportive, more comfortable, more flattering, and what bralettes are best for certain activities. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and let's break this down. Let's first talk about the Coco Bralette. I have one in white and I have one in black and that makes it easier to show. The Coco Bralette is made from Cleo Harper's body capsule fabric and it's really thick. That is the first thing that I noticed about this material. It's super soft and it's super thick. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell but here is that, that crescent strap it's thick. Each bralette comes with those bra cup pads. I have them on with this one and I took them out for these as well as all the others. I'm not a huge fan of them but I feel like for white it's probably safer. I think the branding is really pretty. I do notice that with this little gold emblem, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't feel great when you do any sort of workout that's on your back or yoga. The biggest thing that I would say for the Coco Bralette is it's probably not the best idea to go upside down. There could be some under boob issues happening, especially if you don't get the right size. I wear a size small and everything but one bralette and I will get to that later. It does say online that you can swim with this body capsule material on. I think this bralette is really great for leg day, arm day, basically anything where you're not gonna be lying on your back and you're not gonna be upside down. Next, we're gonna talk about my favorite, which is the Heidi Bralette. Generally, Cleo Harper has a handful of releases during the year, and this was one that when I saw it, I was obsessed. And it is 100% worth the money. This is a size small. It has a slight V neckline, and I just love the detail in the back. I think the back is really unique. I do like that the bralette has this thicker band just under the bust. This is more supportive than the Coco Bralette. This also comes with those removable bra cups, but it does not say anything online about you being able to swim in this material. So this is not that neoprene type body capsule fabric. This is something different. The one thing that I do notice, and I think it really just depends on your proportions, is the back can feel a little bit loose. It honestly does not bother me at all. I think this bralette is great if you're doing really any activity. I think for those who have a, a larger bust, might not want to run with this bra or the Coco bralette for instance. Um, I find this to be plenty supportive and so I do run with this bra. Honestly, I think it's the most comfortable one out of the bunch. Let's move on to the next one. This is the Liberty Bralette. I feel like a sailor, but I feel like a cute sailor, so it's okay. The biggest thing that I notice about this bralette is that it is super supportive, and yet it's still cute. So the Liberty Bra is more supportive than the Heidi and the Coco Bralette. These are both smalls, so I, I like that this also, like the Heidi, has a thick waistband underneath the waistband. This has a thick band underneath the bust and let's check out the back. They have the removable bra cups. The Liberty bra also has good coverage and I do like the wide straps. 
However, it does not say anything on their website about swimming in this, so I would not recommend that. This is definitely a go-to bra for running. This feels a little close. It doesn't bother me, but I do notice it. If you have lats, keep that in mind. This is the Indie Bralette from their newest collection. I don't believe that this style has been released before, so I was really excited to get my hands on it. And I accidentally got the extra small. I did want to order a small, but I was really pleased to find that the extra small worked out too. This is also that body capsule fabric, so it's the same thickness and same feel as the Coco Bralette. It feels pretty thick, and honestly, one of the first things I noticed when I put this bralette on was I wasn't sure whether or not I liked it. It just felt like there was so much material, and I'm five foot two, I'm not a huge person, so it just felt like a lot going on. But honestly, when I took out the, the bra pads or the, the removable cup pads, I don't know why I'm drawing a square, once I took this out, I liked this bralette more. One more thing that I'm not a huge fan of with this bralette is this line of fabric right here. Like, I understand what they're kind of trying to do and cover up, but I just feel like it kind of bunches and it's just like a little awkward. I do like these side cutouts. Again, if you got the wrong size, I could definitely see some uh, poking out issues happening here. There's that wide band below the bust, and I love this neckline. I think it's really pretty, and I love the color. I am sure that this is going to be another staple in the Cleo Harper collection. I feel like this one is safe to go upside down and do yoga, handstands, like whatever the heck you do, but this is not my go-to bralette. I do think the back is very elegant and pretty. Let's talk about prices really quick. All the prices that I'm going to list are in US dollars. So the Coco Bralette is 51, the Indie Bralette is also 51, the Liberty Bralette and the Heidi Bralette are $44. That's all I got today, but I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece is. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or found it useful, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye everyone.